Well, that's right, Keaton. A lot of exciting things. A couple of games against Notre Dame here recently. Yeah, great to see the Hawkeyes welcome Notre Dame last night. Unfortunately, though, it did not come out in their favor. The Iowa women's basketball team took on the number one team in the nation, the University of Notre Dame, last night. And after being down 14 at the end of the first quarter, Iowa slowed down and took control. Being down eight points at the end of the half, the Hawkeyes were able to get within two points at that end of the at the end of the or the first three minutes of that third quarter. But some costly mistakes on offense throughout the game put their chances of an upset to bed. And you know, we we score well in every quarter until the fourth quarter, and then we have three field goals. Um, but our composure to start the game, you know, and taking care of the ball and doing a better job crashing the boards. We had one rebound offensively in the first half, so doing a better job on that in the first half and in the second half, you know, it's, it's really, it came down to a scoring issue. I mean, we, we shot the ball better than Notre Dame. Not by much, but we still did. And uh, we just didn't get as many opportunities to shoot it. They had 15 more opportunities, I believe, to shoot the ball than we did. 15 more opportunities. I mean, that's turnovers. It's really what it is. Even though Iowa was not able to come out with a win against the Irish, they still proved just how good of a team they are. And one player specifically showed how Iowa will still be a threat down the stretch. As the unranked talk guys took on the number one team in the nation, Notre Dame, Iowa came out strong and gave the Irish an unexpected tough fought game. Megan Gustin had a double double and led her team to show that they can play with anyone. You know, Megan's double-double, um, the rebounding aspect that we cleared up the turnovers in the second half, um, that we kept fighting. I mean, that, and I'm proud of my kids for that, and it sounds kind of simple. You know, of course you should fight, right, every second you're on the floor, but some kids don't. Some people don't. When they're down, they don't. And our kids kept fighting, and I wouldn't expect anything else, but I'm still going to acknowledge it when it's there. Although Gustafson had a double-double and senior Allie Disterhoff was the game-high scorer, the Hawkeyes did have some offensive setbacks throughout the game. You know, we really challenged them in the, in the halftime to hit more O boards, and, and we did. And so I'm proud of them with that. But too many turnovers resulting in too many easy points for Notre Dame. Uh, we're just, we got to value the ball more. Even though Iowa faced the top team in the nation, the Hawkeyes play in many top games each season, and they looked at Notre Dame no different as they would any other team. It's always great for anyone to get experience against top teams. Um, that's going to be the norm in the Big Ten. Big Ten has a lot of teams that are pretty highly ranked, so veterans are used to playing against those caliber teams. I don't think we really mentioned the number one ranking that much leading into this game because we're used to playing, like I said, the top teams. We stuck with Notre Dame um, throughout most of the game, and I think that that really does give us confidence. I mean, again, back in UCLA, we also stuck with them pretty well. And I think um, coming up here um, in the next games, playing against some in-state rivals, I think it's going to give us some energy. The Hawkeyes will be back in Carver Hawkeye Arena on Sunday and Wednesday, taking on their two in-state rivals, Northern Iowa and Iowa State. Reporting from Carver Hawkeye Arena, this has been Mary-Kate Herrian, Daily Iowan TV Sports. We'll have the coverage from that Northern Iowa game on Tuesday's show. The Big Ten announced their football offensive team awards Wednesday, and the Hawkeyes were represented well, receiving multiple honors. Yes, they were. It started off with junior guard Sean Welsh earning third team all Big Ten honors from the coaches and the media, as freshman center James Daniel also earned that third team all Big Ten honor from the coaches and the media. Senior tackle Cole Croston earned third team all Big Ten from the coaches and was an honorable mention by the media, while junior running back Akram Wadley earned third team all Big Ten honors from the coaches and was an honorable mention for the media as well. The Hawkeyes had some more honors to receive as quarterback C.J. Beathard, tackle Ike Betker, and running back LaShawn Daniels Jr., tight end George Kittle, and wide receiver Riley McCarron were all honorable mentions as well. That's all we have for sports today here in the sports studio. Back over there to you at the desk.